In our geography class, we are going to be talking about an interesting topic, and which always comes out in your WIAC, NECO examinations in geography, and that topic is latitude and longitude. So, wow, I'm earthlings, right? We are not aliens, we are earthlings, we, we all live on the earth, and so it is necessary for all of us to know the um, nature and the structure of our earth. So, basically, early geographers they divided the, the, the earth. First of all, the Earth is, is in a shape, it is, it's in a spherical shape, and that spherical shape is known as a geoid. So the Earth is something like this. And then, in order to ease their nav navigation and location of several points on the Earth, maybe when you are going from one country to another, from one island to another, so early, early geographers and navigators, they invented, they started what is called um, the latitude and longitude. So the latitude and longitude is basically, they are basically, um, they are basically imaginary lines that run that run um, horizontally and vertically along the Earth's plane, the, around the Earth's spherical plane, and then they help us to locate different, to locate and position different points, and also to do other things too. So specifically, let's start with latitude. So what's latitude? Latitude is basically, imagine they are basically imaginary lines that run from west to east. So they can run from west to east, east to west. So and they are running horizontally along to the earth's plane and then one important line of latitude for example this line of latitude they have different um, names but one important one is the equator so the equator is the line of latitude that divides the earth into exactly two semi semi um, two hemispheres so the equator is like located at the center of the earth and the center of that latitude of that equator is is is, is the center of the earth now this equator these latitudes they have their different names they have their different numbers as we say as we sit with them this equator is zero degree that's degree so what it what this means is that now this light lines of latitude they represent the um, the angle you have to turn from the earth center in order to get to your position now from this center of the earth imagine the center of the earth and this horizontal plane is is in the plane of the uh, center of the earth so you don't have to turn rotate any angle to get to the to the um, to where you are going to so any point on this line of the equator is on zero degree so that is zero degree latitude. Then we also have then the topmost at the top we have a um, ninety degree, ninety degree um, north. Then at the bottommost part we have ninety degree south. So and then we have special lines of latitude. So these lines of latitude that runs from west to east, they are special types. For example, we have, I've talked about the equator, right? We also have the um, Tropic of Cancer, and that is um, that is the one that is directly above the equator that is that is um 23 and a half degree when you turn 23 and a half degree from the center of the earth from the horizontal plane that's passing through the center of the earth when you turn 23 and a half degree northward so the tropic of capricorn of the tropic of cancer is 23 and a half degree north so and then the tropic of capricorn is 23 and a half degree south Then below the Tropic of Cancer and, and Capricorn, we also have the um, the um, Antarctic Circle, that's 66 and a half degree south. Then we have the Arctic Circle, 66 and a half degree north. So now, this, um, just to um, give you a short information about some other parts of this. For example, the um, sun is never overhead beyond the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. So those Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn, they are imaginary lines around the Earth's surface, which are imaginary latitude lines of latitude that mark the limit of the overhead sun. So beyond the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn, the sun is never overhead. So and that's an example of different ways that geographers use to measure and reference their calculations. So these are the important lines of latitude, and what you should remember is that they always run from west to east or east or east to west. So and then we have the lines of lines of longitude. So lines of longitude they always run from north to south. So a line of longitude is a line, for example, the Greenwich uh, Meridian, the, the GMT, that's the Greenwich uh, Greenwich Meridian. It's, it's also a line of latitude, line of longitude. Sorry, and those lines of longitude they run from north to south. So the, so we could draw one. And that one, and that one. So they always run from north to south. So when you when you draw all these lines and all these um, structures on the earth's surface, at the end of the day, you will arrive at what is called a um, 
a navigation map of the earth so any navigation map of the earth always has this lines of latitude and lines of longitude and they have their meaning for example the gmt which passes through london and accra in in, in west africa london in um, europe and accra in west africa that gmt has a special name and that gmt has the la the longitude name of zero degree so and then any any long any any line of any um, um meridian of longitude that is to the to the right of that GMT is called is called east. So you can have 15 degrees east, 30 degrees east, 90 degrees east, up to 180 degrees east. Then when you go to the to the to, to the right to the left, you have up to 180 degrees south. Sorry, 180 degree west. So and that and those these lines of 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 longitude, they are always passing around the earth. And all of them are great circles because all of them they divide the earth into two equal parts. But not all lines of latitude are great circles. Only the only the only line of latitude that is a great circle is the equator. But the all lines of longitude that run from north to south are great circles. So now, what are the uses of these lines, and why why were they even made? So first of all, these lines they are used to the both of them are used for positioning different points on the earth's surface. For for example, the Nigeria, for example. If I want to look for the location of Nigeria on the map, I will just look between latitude. When I look between latitude, um, latitude 4 and 14, latitude 4 degree north and 14 degree north. Then again, when I want to look at the at how um, at how wide Nigeria is, I'll look at latitude longitude, longitude 3 degree north to longitude 15 degree north. So basically, these are these are just references that help us to locate and position a any place, any point on the earth surface. So that's for example. And then also we also have um, the lamp, the lines of latitude. They are also used for calculating distances. Let me give an example. Let me give an example now. Let me say um, now this first example is uh, calculate the distance between the equator latitude zero degree and Egypt latitude thirty degree north. Now what this question is trying to say is that. When you have the equator, they say calculate the distance between the equator and latitude 30 degree north. So let's draw an imaginary latitude with dotted lines. So now this is and Egypt. Egypt is located at 30 degree north, but the equator is, is at zero, right? Now this 30 degree north and zero degree, we have to calculate what is the latitude difference. So and what you are going to do is that if both of them are in the north, you subtract, and if both of them are in the south, you subtract. But if both of them are in different hemispheres, because we have the northern hemisphere and we have the southern hemisphere. So if, if they are in similar hemispheres, you subtract. But if they are in, if they are in different hemispheres, you add. So it's just like um like similar similar hemispheres subtract, um, different hemispheres add. So that is as a simple rule for both latitude and longitude. So what we are going to do is that from this zero degree and thirty degree, so this equator is at the middle, it's neither in north or south. So you can just write the the um, number 30 degrees that's the latitude difference so the latitude difference is 30 degree now we have a formula in this geography which we use for example we know that the earth rotates 360 degree in in um, 24 hours right so now if we have this now you now you, you you use a direct proportion you say you say 360 is 360 degree in 24 hours And that 360 degree, it is equal to the the circumference around the around the earth, and that is 40,000 and 40,085 kilometer. So if you divide this by 360, you get for one for one degree, the earth the earth moves 111 kilometers. So what that means is that. For any degree, the, any for any difference in degree you have, you multiply by 111 kilometers. So if one degree is 111 kilometers, then 30 degree will what? That will be 111 times 30, right? So that is direct proportion. Let's do that. So 30 degree times 111 kilometer. So and when you multiply, you will get your answer. And that your answer will be the the distance between the, the those two those two points. So and the distance between them, 30 degree times um, 111. Let me, let, let me check that. That's 3,300 kilometers. 3,300 kilometers. So you can safely assume that the distance between the equator and Egypt, which is 30 degrees north, the equator is 0 degree 
is neither north nor south, but the equator is zero degrees. So the distance between them is the multiplication of their latitude dif of their of their difference in latitude. So I, and I said that if they are in the same hemisphere, you subtract, right? But if they are in different hemispheres, you add. So but th this one from, from the equator, the equator you neither add nor subtract because the equator is zero, right? So just add, the, just write the um, the um, one that is non zero. So that's 30 times. Then multiply your answer. Then multiply your difference by 111 kilometers. So that will give you 3,300 kilometers. That's the distance between the equator 0 degree and Egypt 30 degrees. Let me give another example. Calculate the distance between South Africa 30 degrees south and Spain 40 degrees north. So as, as you can see, one of them is south, one of them is north. So as I said, when they are different, when when one is in south and when one is in north, know that they are in different hemispheres. One is in south, south is different from north. So you add the, the figures together. That's 30 plus 40. That's 70. And that's 70, you multiply again by 111 kilometers. So and when you've done that, you'll get 7,700 kilometers. So that is the answer. You should, and it's, it's important to know that these, um, these distances are just approximations, but they are also close to the real values because this circumference of the Earth, it was it was also an estimated value by different uh, methods. So, but it is it is always close to the actual value. So you can still rely on this. So then let's look at let's look at longitude. So we can use longitude to, to position things to calculate the position, like latitude also. We can also use latitude to calculate the position. Then in addition to, to position, we can also use lat longitude to know the time, the time difference or the local time. So let's let me give an example on that. Now this example is um yes, what would be the time in Brazil, 50 degree west? When it is noon in London, zero degree. Now I said earlier here that London lies on the Greenwich Mean Time. That is Greenwich Meridian. So as as a such, London's longitude is zero. So London long, London's longitude is basically this this um, first one is the Greenwich Meridian and it's a special type of longitude and it provides a reference for which other longitudes are are named. So then they said Brazil is fifty degree west and London is zero degree. So what will be the time in Brazil? Now what we are doing here, we are using, we are calculating longitude. So now Brazil is Brazil is fifty degree west, right? Yes. So that means it will be west. West is left. So we will locate Brazil and then locate London, just imaginarily. So and then these are different. They are in different. They are on different um, longitude, right? Now you are going to calculate the longitude difference. What you do is that if they are different, you add. If they are the same, subtract. But because um. Because London is on zero degree, so you can you don't need to add any or subtract anything. Just write the non-zero figure, which is fifty degree, and remove the west. That's fifty degree. That will be the latitude difference. Because the difference between zero and fifty is fifty, so that's fifty. So the latitude difference is fifty, fifty degree. Then you can use the fact that the Earth rotates around this axis once in twenty-four hours, and that rotation, one rotation, for those of you who are apt in mathematics, you know that one rotation is three sixty degree, right? So if three sixty degree is twenty-four hours, then fifty degree was fifty over twenty-four. That's sorry, 50 degree, 50 degree over 360 times 24 hours. So, but we don't want to collect. Okay, let's use 24 hours. 24 hours. That will give us, if we break that down, that will give us 0 cancel 0. 2 in 12. Um, 12 in 24, 2. 12 in 36, 3. So that will be 100 over 3. That's basically, um, that's 33. 30, that's, um, Three um uh, number thirty number yes thirty thirty number yes let's let me check that again so fifty degree so let's use the fact that fifteen degrees is one hour instead Let's use the fact that 15 degrees is one hour. So, so because 24 hours is 33 degrees, if we, if we break everything, everything that we have, we have 15 degrees is one hour. So if 15 degrees is one hour, then 50 degrees will be what? That's 50 over 15. 50 over 15 times one hour. Oh, and instead of one hour, I can also write 60 minutes times 60 minutes. So when you get 15 and 15, one. 15 and 60, that's four. That's 200 minutes. So that is the time difference, and then in that time difference you can collect, you can convert to hours by dividing by sixty. So when you divide by sixty, sixty going to two hundred, 
that goes in three times and in that 20. That's three hours, 20 minutes. So that is how you calculate the long, the, um, you, that's how you use the long two difference to calculate the time difference. So what the question said, what will be the time in Brazil when it is known in London? So because it is known in London, we are not done yet. Now, when it is known in London, I didn't add, I didn't add, I didn't tell you this, but whenever you are moving to the left, you subtract time, you lose time. Then whenever you are using to the, moving to the right, which is east, you gain time. So west is left and you lose time, but right is east and you gain time. So now, you can see that from this London, Greenwich to this side, it's left, you are moving left, and this is westward. So we are going to subtract that 3 hours 20 minutes from the time in London, which is 0 degree. So when we are moving from 0 degree to 50 degree, we are going to lose time. So we are going to subtract 3 hours 20 minutes from that 0 degree time. That's and they said it is known in London. I know it's 12 o'clock, right? So that's 12 o'clock minus 3 hours 20 minutes. So when you subtract 3 hours 20 minutes from 12 o'clock, first of all, let's subtract 3 hours. 12 o'clock minus 3 hours, that's 9 o'clock. Then 9 o'clock minus 20 minutes, that's 8 o'clock. That's 8.40. 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 a.m. You know, because we are going back, we are not calling it p.m. now. So we are going back in time because we are going westward. So when you westward, you lose time. So basically, this is a video. I hope you've been able to gain something from here. And for more information and more and training on geography, you can check the description below of the video and then get more information. You can chat me up on WhatsApp if you want to learn more or you want more education.